it's so difficult for us to see God in our storms. The coldness and violence we experience feel so God-forsaken that we can't see anything else but our immediate circumstances. We tend to grab anything that could give us momentary relief, anything to help us cope and survive our storms. This destroys our courage to keep our heads above water. We get angry and frustrated with God when we pray for miracles in our lives and don't receive it, or not receive it right away. We need to realize that being healed isn't always God's objective, or the only miracle He performs in our lives. Sometimes, the miracle is the storm itself. The truth is, a hardship is not a storm to God. He's bigger than any storm. God is not the origin of our storms. He only allows it for reasons we will never fathom. To Him, our hardships offer a unique opportunity. God builds me this platform by combining my storms and my gifts to be a unique witness and messenger of His love and grace. To all who listens to my music and watch me minister my songs. God whispers through our storms and says over and over, keep your hands securely gripped to mine and cling to your faith because I'm your dad and I'm right here with you. This is our moment of intimacy. It's my moment to bring you home safe and use every second in between for my greater purpose and story even in the middle of your storm. My Father wants me to be intimately connected with Him. His work is done much better when we are knees down on the ground, dependent on His salvation. I often ask myself these questions. What is my silver lining? What gifts have God given me? How can I experience more of God in this storm? And how can this benefit God's story? I know now that through my storms, I am able to be a better songwriter and musician, a better messenger and witness to what God has done in my life over and over again. God is patient and He loves us dearly, and He will never turn His back on us. No matter how stubborn we are, or how angry we are, or how broken we are. We can never earn or deserve His salvation. It only comes from within His everlasting grace.